So this is a reply video to this. Um, it says, interesting topic. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Please know this. God's free will is the ultimate con. God set up the rules so that only way to salvation is through him. We're born with original sin because he wanted to make sure his creations are ignorant, then sacrifices himself in human form as the son. If Christ died for us, our sins, why are we still sinners? Mind you, I'm referring to the KJV, which is written by white King Jank King to justify their evil deeds. We're going to stop right there real quick. Okay, in the video that, that you watched, um, I did say that a lot of people don't understand free will. Okay, so free will. In order to have free will, you have to be given a, given a choice, correct? And so the only choice that God gave us, and it was a simple choice, okay, because God prepared, God prepared everything. We had everything, everything in the beginning. He made us last. Everything, all the trees, everywhere, everything else, okay? So he made a simple choice, one choice. That's it, one free will. This is what he granted to us when he gave us a choice, okay? Because you don't have free will if you don't have a choice. Free will honestly makes us into the image of God. That's the cherry on the cake. Boop! That was that. Boop! Okay? So he said, do not, one rule, do not do this or you will die. All they had to do was run away from that area. Don't even, don't do this. Or you will die. Simple. Boom. At that point, we had free will. Guess what we did? We chose wrong. In the Garden of Eden, we chose wrong. Okay? We had everything else to do. You see how big this earth is? We had everything else to do. We chose wrong. We are made in the image of God. Understand the responsibility that comes with free will. You say God set up the rules. Of course, he set up the rules. That was one rule. We broke it. He didn't do anything. We broke it. We're born into sin because of what happened in the Garden of Eden. Go back and read your Bible. I'm assuming that you have not. And the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye die. That's not God's fault. He made us in his image. He gave us a choice. He gave us free will. That was the only, that was it. In order to have free will, like I said before, you have to have a choice. Period. Choice is a part of God's free will, God's image. They knew the one rule and they broke it. They chose wrong. It's not God's fault. That's not a con. If it was a con, he would not have told them. Okay. Ahead of time. That's not a con. If I'm telling you the truth and you disobey me, how is that a con? And yes, the only way to salvation is through the Lord Jesus Christ. What the flip? What? How? Okay, God created you. And you want him to do what now? Say, you think somebody else has that power? It took him making himself flesh. To be the perfect sacrifice so that we will have the choice, the opportunity to never die again. There was no other sacrifice that could have done this. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehends it not. Skipping on to verse 14 in the Gospel of John, first chapter. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Let's go back. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. You ask if we believe in Christ, why are we still sinners? Number one, when the Lord gave his life, he will wipe. Your, your sins will not be counted towards you, which is why you will be able to have eternal life. He, gave, he, he made the perfect sacrifice. That was the perfect sacrifice. Okay, he took on ours, so it won't be counted. So it won't be counted against us. He wiped that. Okay, King James Bible was not written by a white man, nor was it written by King James. He was the ruler then, and so whatever he he just stamped. He allowed he allowed the gospels to be translated. He allowed them to be translated by the translators at that time. Okay, by the scribes. Okay. He, 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 he just ruled. He just stamped. It's just like, um, 
a ruler will stamp something that that's the that's the verb that is what he just stamped it that's it but it was already it was translated boom 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 and you can go back if you want to because you'll see the translations go from nation to nation or whatever if it's a different language you know it's translated you go on to say that you don't believe in a book written by former slave owners former slave former slave owners didn't write the bible then you went on to say, who said to teach slaves their version of the Bible so they will never know God. That's a special kind of evil and one of the main reasons I don't respect organized religion. We don't need a middleman to talk to God. Just talk peace. I'm only taking a deep breath because I really hate repeating myself. I have this real temptation to just, you know, link you to the video that I've already done. <sighs> but I'm just trying to say this in short and hopefully you get it in short. Or I will probably add the link in the in the comments and reply to you. White people are not responsible for Christianity at all. White people were not even practicing Christianity when they did all those horrors they did. How do I know? It's obvious. It doesn't even go with the Bible. They completely were not following the, the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you read the Bible, you would know that. They were practicing greed and racism. How do I know that? First Timothy 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while after while, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows erred from the faith they left the faith and they decided to just go for the money not only did they do that but every other slave trader and slave owner during that particular time you're talking about the slave owners in Africa did it and they worshiped different deities. The Arab ones did it. Even chattel slavery was in China. Okay. They did it. You want to know how I know? Because I know history. Also God wrote about it. It's written about it in Revelation. You want to check it out? In Revelation 18, the prophecy is talking about the acts of Babylon, the evil acts that God is going to get rid of, right? Then it's talking about the merchants and all the kings of the earth who committed fornication and lived del um, deliciously with her, the acts of Babylon, Babylon. He will cause no man to buy their merchandise anymore. What was the merchandise? All this precious gold, all this other stuff. And then watch this, watch this. Slaves and souls of men. That's verse 13. You see at the top, he knows what they were selling. Oh, and watch this. For in one hour so great witches has come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors. Yeah, you see that? Trade, trade. He also said man stealing was a sin. You want to see that? Exodus 21, verse 16. And he that steals a man and sells him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. That's one. Now let's go to the New Testament. This is 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy 9. We're going to cut down to here. For the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for the holy and profane, for the murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for those that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers. What is a man stealer? A man stealer is a slave trader. He's a slave trader and a kidnapper. So there, I just proved to you that if you read your Bible, you would know that the Lord was against the slave trading that was going on. Here's my advice. Don't listen to just random people online trying to get you to hate God and hate Christianity. My advice for you would be to read the doctrine completely. Because why do people perish? Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you. That you shall be no priest to me. Seeing you have forgotten the law of your God, I will also forget your children. In your comments, you said that you, you could just go to God yourself. Do that. Because it's apparent you have not. You've listened to everybody else instead of going directly to the word of God and learning for yourself.